It may look like a quarrel, but it's Mura, one of the oldest and loudest games played anywhere in the world. It's widespread throughout the Mediterranean. The object is to be the first to call out the sum of all extended fingers. So, what's the big deal? To find out, I travel to the French Mediterranean island of Corsica, in particular to the commune of Saola Cacopino. Mura is a game that has been played for thousands of years, but until recently, I didn't know anything about it. Here in Corsica, the World Championships are held, and I don't just want to learn how to play Mura, I even want to compete here. I meet Alex Casamata, the organizer of this year's World Championship. Only recently have Mura players begun to compete outside their own regions or countries. Of course, we knew the game was played everywhere, but we were convinced it was dying out. On the internet, we've been able to track down other players. Now, for over 10 years, we've held World Championships, and this year it's in Corsica. Teams from 14 countries and regions go up against each other. The first contestants are warming up their vocal cords. I really want to give this a try. What can I do? You have to learn the numbers in Corsican. After that you can play. Should I teach them to you? Mura players count in their own language, but their opponents always understand them. Now you're ready to play. Okay. This is quite simple, so let's do it. Now, all I need is a partner. Mura is always played in pairs, but nobody seems eager to team up with a rookie. They are all here to win. At least, I can practice. Learning the numbers isn't enough, nowhere near. You have to learn to react fast. Who first created Mura is the stuff of legend. The ancient Egyptians are thought to have played it and then the Romans used it to settle disputes. Mora is a feeling, a passion and a nation's culture. Less a passion than a nation's culture. We play Mora every chance we get. It's as normal for us as eating and drinking. We sing, we laugh and we play Mora. It brings everything together. I keep practicing zealously and can hardly wait till tomorrow. The next day, about 200 contestants from Croatia to the Iberian Peninsula have come together. But I still can find a partner. I have to take drastic action. I found a team, Germany. How do you spell Germany? And I'm in luck. There's another single player on their list. Chiafredo Gallo has a team, but he himself isn't allowed to join them. I am looking for a partner because I am alone. Why? Because we are a team from Italy, from Piemonte. Uh, we are seven. And uh, normally they play two by two. I am alone. And so it's settled. An Italian joins the German team. We are playing against Corsica in two prize rounds for 15 points each. The first round I actually came out on top, but it was all downhill from there for our little team Germany. We got knocked out right in the first match. It's a very vivid tradition here in the Mediterranean area, and I'm so glad that I am the first German player. But this is the sound which will follow into my dreams this night. If nothing else, I've learned that Mura is quite hard on the vocal cords. <laughs> <laughs>